I'm sitting at Duncan Taylor, one of our sales guys, um, account executives, but at, at Duncan's uh, very, very much into music. You can see some of his stuff. He's got this great tube amplifier that he, that he built by himself, another one back there, and a headphone amplifier over here. And, and Duncan and engineer Darren Meyer, ha, uh, Myers, has, uh, they, they have a recording thing um, called Invisible Audience. And Duncan and uh, Darren are doing some great work with recordings. So if you ever do get a chance to call here and talk to Duncan, this is, this is his lair. This is where he lives, right here. All right, who do we got here? Let's see, Bob Gagnon. I used to know a guy named Steve Gagnon. Hmm, that took me back to high school there. So anyway, uh, Bob in La Jolla, California. I just watched How to Wire a House. Great ideas, but three questions may be dumb. No, there's no question that's dumb. The, the dumb question is the one you don't ask. Um, 10 gauge wire uh, is what you recommend and you would allow a 30 amp circuit breaker. I, is this a good idea? And what he means is be, it, with 10 gauge wire, you can carry 30 amps, okay? So should he connect up a 30 amp circuit breaker? Then, uh, let's see, is, uh, it seems to have a good circuit breaker with a large contact. However, triggering your 30 amp uh, circuit is a big deal. Yeah, that's a lot of current. 30 amps at 120 volts, amps times volts, 3600 watts. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, do you think there may be benefit to Romex being installed in grounded steel conduit up to the receptacle using a metal junction box? I'm thinking about EMI, electromagnetic interference, is what EMI stands for. Uh, and, and three, what about doing a star ground at the circuit panel of all circuits running to the audio room and keeping all wires equal length to minimize potential ground loops? Wow. Well, that's, yeah, Bob, that's a lot of stuff. First, let's talk about the 30 amp breaker. I am not a big fan of I, well, I, I'll probably get in trouble with uh, the uh, the guys who run all the electrical stuff because you're supposed to match wire to gauge. But if it were my home, I prefer, if I'm not going to put a 30 amp load on it, if I know what the load is and it's my stereo system, I'm going to stay with a 20 amp breaker. And, and the reason is because I want that breaker to be there in case something happens. I don't want, even though a 50 amp breaker or a 30 amp breaker might sound better, I don't want to risk it. Those breakers are there for a good reason. And even though an electrician's probably going to give you a 30 amp, uh, and maybe that's the legal safe thing to do because people, he doesn't know what you're going to plug into that thing, right? But I, I would be on the 20 amp side, just me, overly cautious. But having said that, definitely go for the 10 gauge wire. So we, we know that gauge of wire, the, the smaller the number, the bigger the gauge. It's kind of counterintuitive. So a 10 gauge wire is, I don't know, that thick and a 12 gauge is a little thinner and eight, uh, you know, eight gauge is thicker uh, and on down 22 gauge is really thin. So the, the smaller, the, or the, the larger the number, the smaller the gauge. <laughs> the smaller the number, the bigger the gauge, like two gauge, really big. Anyway, wire does matter, and if you can go to 10 gauge, it's not much more. If you're wiring your house, go 10. It, you will appreciate the sound. Now, the other thing that uh, is conduit. So if you've ever seen a house wired, they'll sometimes take uh, uh, conduit. Uh, modern homes today, they just run the Romex <clears throat> through uh, either Smurf tubing, which is that kind of plastic orange tubes, or they'll just run it through the walls. They'll just snake it through the walls, which I believe is perfectly legal, and then you connect it up. But in, in like in this building here, and we have a commercial application, so everything in this building goes through conduit, and conduit is galvanized steel pipes that uh, connect everything, and, and they do that for fire, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And the Romex runs through the galvanized steel pipe. So the question is, you know, should I do that? Because why? Well, 
noise is an issue. I mean, this uh, s cell phones, uh, everything you know out there that that creates noise, computers, radio stations, and all that are going right into your wires and then coming into your equipment. And if you can isolate those wires from at least uh, you won't you know from at least the noises in your house, you're, you'll be better off. Um, so by running it into a steel pipe that is then grounded, yeah, you'll have much better uh, noise rejection, uh, or, or not rejection, but you know, elimination from extraneous noise. Now, having said that, I mean, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta bend the pipes. It's, you gotta run it through with snakes. I mean, it, it is not trivial. And the last part, the star ground. I think star, Grounding is important. I don't think that star lengths is all that important. Dedicated circuits are. If you can manage a dedicated circuit, let me explain what that is. A dedicated AC circuit is where each of the receptacles in our listening room has one wire going back to the central uh, breaker panel. And if, uh, if you had five receptacles, you'd have five separate wires going back to uh, a common uh, breaker or to even five separate breakers, but back to the panel. Now, why, why is that? Well, normally, you would have one 20-amp circuit, and on that circuit, you'd have multiple AC outlets where you'd plug multiple products into. And the more stuff you plug into in series, things like power amplifiers that you, you can visibly see a power amplifier that's putting out uh, a, 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 a decent amount of power into a loudspeaker will modulate the AC power line. It, you can see it on the scope. You can actually see the music because, it's dr because of the resistance in the wire. <clears throat> as it draws current, you are dropping voltage to the music and ed everything else connected to that is going to see that drop as well. So you can get rid of some of that drop by having a separate wire not sharing the same one, which is the idea behind dedicated lines. Also, each of those lines has its own separate ground that goes back, so you have less contamination. And it does make a difference, and dedicated circuits are better. Of course, you could get a power plant, and then all that stuff is gone because we regulate the power. All right. I don't want to start pitching our products. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Thanks for asking it. Bye.